Welcome to Mo Volleyball. We are back with another player analysis. Be sure to check out the previous breakdowns on Kelsey Robinson and Amir Abdel Aziz. Links will be in the description below. We are going to analyze the former outside hitter for Japan's national women's team, Saori Gamura. Saori played for Japan between 2003 and 2017. She played a major role in their bronze finish at the 2012 Olympics. Mother Teresa once said, be faithful in the small things, because it is in them that your strength lies. There's no secret to being consistently great on the court. You have to do the small, simple things correctly, over and over again. While Saori makes big plays, it's the execution of the small details that makes her great. This video will be split into two parts. Part 1, serving and passing. Part 2, digging and spiking. First, we are going to look at Saori Kimura's serve. When it comes to choosing a serve, you want to use one that allows you to hit with speed and accuracy consistently. Saori has a unique jump float serve. She uses a slight approach, meaning she jumps off one leg and tosses the ball on her last step. Her serve is low and fast with no spin. This is what makes it effective for her. I usually don't recommend this serve as a toss on the last step requires it to be low, which limits your ability to jump high and gives you less time to adjust to a bad toss. Most jump floats are done with a four or three step approach, jumping off two feet with the toss happening after the second or first step. With this rhythm, you can toss a little higher, allowing you to accelerate into your last two steps and make any adjustments if the toss is bad. Sheila Castro from Brazil was ranked top server in the 2012 Olympics. She uses a four step approach and tosses the ball after her second step. This is a more common way to jump float. If you're going to do a slide approach, I recommend you do it like the libero from Texas. She uses four steps and tosses after her second step. If you're a club player, keep in mind you may not have as much space to approach as the pros do, so be sure to shorten your first steps. Passing is when a player receives serve. This skill has the biggest impact on your team's ability to win. The best passers make this skill look easy by the simplicity of their movements. As a coach, I spend most of my time getting passers to do less in order to be successful. Saudi is a very effective passer because she keeps her movements simple. When the ball is hit directly to her, she lets the angle of her platform do the work without moving her feet. At the junior level, young passers tend to move their feet too much even when the serve goes directly to them. You need to learn to no-step pass as well. Saori also knows how to keep it simple on the move. When the ball is served behind her, she takes one shuffle back without adding any extra steps in the wrong direction. Lastly on Saori's passing, she is still effective when the ball is off her midline. This is key for all great passers. Passing midline is most effective. It's just not always probable. The goal is to get the ball midline, but allow yourself the freedom to take it off your side if it's more simple. Sometimes the serve goes in the seam fast, sometimes you and your teammate miscommunicate. You need to pass off your side in some situations. Great passes are dynamic, meaning no matter where the ball is in relation to their midline, no matter what adjustments they have to make, they direct the ball to the target.